Coming up on the Griffin Newscast, Missouri Western celebrates homecoming. We have a recap of some of the week's activities, plus an update on the search for Western's next president. All that and more is straight ahead. The Griffin Newscast starts now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brittany Price. From parades to bonfires, Western celebrated homecoming in style last week. Here's a recap of all the fun. Missouri Western celebrated homecoming during the week of October 7th through the 12th. This year's homecoming theme was Griffins Under the Big Top. Homecoming week featured a number of activities that all aimed to boost school spirit and get students excited for Saturday's football game. To kick off the week, a bonfire was held on Sunday. Student organizations competed with each other in a food drive in order to collect food for the needy. The silent party was a big hit. Partygoers were issued headphones at the beginning of the party and were able to choose from music played by a variety of DJs. Homecoming week ended with a pep rally and a parade, and Western students were able to show that they are as proud to be Griffins as ever. One of the many events during homecoming week was a blood drive. The drive pitted organizations against each other to see which could donate the most blood on campus. In addition, the drive was a competition between Western and Northwest Missouri State. Those who didn't want to give blood could donate in other ways. They could buddy up with people who gave blood or work around the room. Northwest beat Western in the campus competition, but those who gave blood said it still was a great experience. Uh, I donated because I wanted to do my part to help society. There's people out there who really need this stuff, and if I have extra, then why not help other people, such as the kids? The blood drive was sponsored by Community Blood Center. On October 9th, the Board of Governors held its first meeting to begin the search for Western's next president. Griffin News reporter Zoe Jones was there and has more. The Presidential Search Committee held its first meeting to begin the search for Dr. Robert Vardabedian's successor on Tuesday, October 9th. The Board of Governors have decided to hire the AGB firm to find the next president. The chair of the committee, David Lichty, thinks that the committee may face some challenges, but will take the right steps to find the upcoming president. I think, I think people are passionate about, about what they're involved in, and I think the biggest challenge is going to have everyone uh, lay aside some of their differences of what's important so that we can have the absolute best candidate that can fulfill all the needs. So I think that's the biggest challenge as I see it, is bringing everyone together uh, to agree on the strongest leader that we have. And leadership, I believe, is the key to uh, this position here. The committee is made up of some members of the Board of Governors, faculty, staff, community members, and students, including student governor Paul Granberry III. Granberry is excited to be on the board as a way to be a voice for the students. During SGA senior meetings, we encourage constituents to come out uh, so that way they can voice their opinion on who, uh, on what traits the next university president should have. Uh, because I believe that if I go in with a closed mind, uh, that it will hurt the students as a whole, not only now, but uh, years to come. The members discussed a timeline during the meeting and some basic rules and regulations that they are required to follow. In the end, the Board of Governors will make the final decision for the president based off the candidates that the committee brings forward. It's overwhelming to a degree. Uh, I, I don't proclaim to have uh, grand expertise in uh, recruiting uh, university presidents, so uh, I'm, I am humbled by, by the position, but also accept the challenge and uh, feel, feel real confident that this committee will uh, select the best candidates. The next meeting for the committee has not been announced yet, but will be taking place in November. Reporting for the Griffin News, I'm Zoe Jones. It's advisement season. That means it's time for Western students to sign up for their classes next semester. Priority registration for the spring semester has already begun for all Western students. If you haven't met with your advisor, make an appointment as soon as possible to make sure you get into the classes you need and want. For more information on advising, visit the Student Success and Academic Advising Center in Eater 209. That's your news in five minutes. Stay up to date on all the breaking news at Western by logging on to thegriffinnews.com. We are constantly updating our website with news stories to keep you in the loop on what's happening on campus. I'm Brittany Price. Thanks for joining us on the Griffin Newscast.